Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. For the past eight years, retired from classroom teaching, but I do private math tutoring in students' homes. This last Sunday morning, I had a most unusual math tutoring session, and I would like to tell you about it. I got a Facebook message from my chess teacher in Indonesia, Chen Ming. It was Sunday morning for me, Sunday evening for Chen. Chen explained that a friend of his was visiting and including the friend's teenage daughter. And the teenage daughter needed help with her math homework. Uh, the father could not help. And Chen was trying to help, but there were about three problems that he did not know how to do. And could I help? So we got on Skype. I could see Chen. Chen could see me. I explained the problems to Chen. I was able to. I understood them. And then Chen explained them in Indonesian to his friend's daughter. In this video, I'm going to go over one of the problems with you. Here is the way Chen presented it to me. It is about two pipes filling a swimming pool. Pipe A by itself can fill the pool in 2 hours 15 minutes. Pipe B by itself can fill the pool in an hour and a half. And the question is, how long will it take the two pipes to fill the pool if they work together? Well, this is a typical work problem, and for many algebra students, it is mysterious. How do you set up an equation for a problem like this? There's more than one way to do it. The way I do it, and the way I explained it to Chen, is try to set up an equation based on what fraction of the job gets done in one unit of time. In this case, we could say what fraction of the job gets done in one minute. So first I ask Chen, how many minutes does it take pipe A working alone and how many minutes does it take pipe B working alone? Well, Chen replied very easily, pipe A, two hours and 15 minutes, that's 135 minutes. Pipe B, an hour and a half, that's 90 minutes. So then I asked Chen, now tell me, what fraction of the job can pipe A do in one minute? And Chen replied correctly, one 135th of the job. Yes, and what fraction of the job can pipe B do in one minute? One ninetieth of the job, said Chen. Okay. We will have X stand for the length of time that it takes both pipes if they work together. That's what the problem is asking. X equals the number of minutes it takes both pipes working together. So now we are going to write an equation that says the fraction of the job that pipe A does in a minute plus the fraction of the job that pipe B does in a minute equals the fraction of the job that both pipes together do in a minute. That's 1 over 135 plus 1 over 90 equals 1 over x. There's more than one way to solve this equation. The way I choose is to multiply the entire equation by a, an expression that will get rid of all the denominators. And we can multiply by 270x uh, because 135 times 2 is 270 and 90 times 3 is 270. Well, Chen knew exactly how to proceed. 135 divides into 270x 2x times. 2x times that numerator 1 is 2x plus 90 divided into 270x times 1 is 3x equals, here the x's cancel, equals 270. Chen immediately combined the 2x and the 3x, giving 5x equals 270. He divided both sides of the equation by 5, and he got x equals 54 minutes. So it takes 
both pipes working together 54 minutes to fill the pool. The key to problems like this is writing an equation that describes what fraction of the job gets done in one unit of time, in this example, in one minute. And Chen was very appreciative. He called me the best math teacher on the planet. This problem was easy for him once he got that basic concept. Well, I describe my chess teacher Chen Ming as the best chess teacher on the planet, so it's a mutual admiration society. So I thoroughly enjoyed that very unusual math tutoring session, and Skype is wonderful, computer technology is wonderful. It allows me to have chess lessons and him to have this math lesson in spite of our being on opposite sides of the world. If you enjoyed this video, I invite you to click below and watch one of my math challenges that is related to this, the one that's entitled Work, Work, Work. And thank you for watching and listening.